Inside Science TV. These are just two identical run-of-the-mill straight lines. Nothing all that terribly interesting about them. But what is interesting is what happens when you change what's going on around them. They'll look like they've changed size in relation to each other. They'll change to different shades. They'll stretch and compress and can even change directions. Even though it seems like these changes are actually happening on the screen, the only thing that's actually bending and buckling is your mind. What's going on inside your brain is the truly mesmerizing part of visual illusions. When you look at something, what you're really seeing is light, specifically light from the sun or a light bulb bounces off whatever you're looking at and enters into your eye. The light is then converted to electrical signals that your brain can turn into an image. This process takes about one-tenth of a second, so at any given moment, your eyes are taking in an incredible amount of information. It's really difficult for your brain to try to focus on everything at once, so our brain takes shortcuts, simplifying what we see to help us concentrate on what's important. This trait helped early humans survive encounters with fast predators, or at the very least, avoid running into trees. These shortcuts are also at the heart of how visual illusions fool our brains. Take the herring illusion, for example. Here are two straight lines again. But when you drop them in front of this radial pattern, they looked warped even though they're actually straight. When your brain sees that radial pattern, it focuses on the point in the middle. It looks like you're traveling towards it. Your brain then thinks these parallel lines are getting closer. That's why they seem to get larger as you approach the center of the radial pattern, and that makes the lines look warped. Not all visual illusions trick our brain into seeing motion. Some can also trick our brains into perceiving colors or shades that aren't actually there. Take the mock band illusion. This stack of ascending gray bars seems to be lighter on the bottom, but when we separate them, we can see that they're all a solid color. This is due to an automatic process in our brains called lateral inhibition that helps us define the edges of objects. The effect can be seen in this famous illusion, the Hermann grid, where you can see a sort of gray circle at the intersection points of each square. What about those illusions that make it seem like a still image is moving? The psychedelic peripheral drift illusion is an impressive brain fart. This is a version called the rotating snakes. You can't help but see a very convincing, slithering motion within the image, but when you fixate on any point, the motion seems to stop. This is due in part to how we perceive light and dark, and in part to our eye movements. The sequence of light, dark, and colored segments in each of these snakes tricks the motion-sensitive neurons in your brain into responding as they would to real physical motion. The pattern of segments that leads to the illusory rotation is always white, light gray, black, and dark gray in sequence. In color, the lime green acts as light gray, and the light blue acts as dark gray. So you can see, it also works in grayscale. Also, blinking, shifting your eyes, and looking away can fuel the illusion of motion. So believe the cliché, what you see isn't always what you get. Speaking of things we're seeing, hit that subscribe button to see more Inside Science videos. So to let us know if you want more, give us a like. Do you have any other burning questions you want explained? Let us know in the comments.